So it's a bit of a late start today. <laughs> it's 5.30 five, five thirty p.m. Um, we've just chilled out today and I made a green smoothie and I actually went to the gym today. I tried to go yesterday and there was too many people and my anxiety was too high. So I decided to try again today. And there was a lot of people there again today, but I just put headphones in and did a super light familiarize myself with the gym so that was good and now we're headed over to Apple because we got to pick up a gimbal but not for this camera I'm afraid um, for a project that we got coming up which is exciting and we are going to go to Best Buy to pick up a TV yep. super excited so hopefully it will fit in the car because it's a big TV and then tomorrow we get everything delivered so our lounge will nearly be done tomorrow there's like two pictures that we're waiting for that should come by Friday we gotta go and pick those up um, and then the living room will be like finished so that's super exciting and our pod should be here next week and we'll have to unpack all that and find space for all of that throughout the house without making it look messy because I don't want to live in a messy house like we did for the last three years. Um, and yeah, the like sky is really cool. Check this out. It's like super cloudy and then it's like sunny. So like the highlights on the clouds, super nice. Um, I should learn to bring out the other camera to take photos when it's like super overcast like this but it's just so much to carry around and remember that I'm just, I need to set, spend like an hour sat down taking pictures of it rather than just a five minute like oh let's take a picture here and then I feel bad when Dan's in the car and I do that because um, I don't want him to get bored because I'm taking pictures because it's not fun for someone that's with you um, and then I bought this so I could try it because I haven't tried it yet because of yesterday I forgot. Um, so should we open it and try it? I haven't tried it yet. You can see I've still left it sealed. So um, I didn't sneak a flavor. Sneak a flavor, sneak a taste. So let's Show open it and see. Fine. All right, that was hard work, harder work than it should have been. Oh, and I also saw in my last channel, uh, my last video, Somebody said that not to listen to Dan and it is disgusting and it's just high fructose corn syrup. But we have to try it. I want to try one too. You know what it tastes like. I know. I have no idea. Alright, let's give it a, a whirl. The candy corn. It tastes like. Eat a few of them. It's pretty. Like. Weird. I don't know if I like the texture of it. Yeah, it's weird. It's like powdery, but not like. Powdery. And it's like. It's super sweet. And it gets stuck in your teeth really easily. Mm -hmm. So. Luckily, I'm not a big fan of these. It says it's a fat free food Ooh. and it contains an egg okay. um, and there is well there's what is it servings 8.5 a serving size is 17 pieces so 17 candy corns and in that contains 22 grams of sugar so 46% of your daily intake. Wow. It's not that bad. If you, if you eat this with coke, then you've definitely reached well above your sugar intake for the day. But, to have one or two isn't the worst thing in the world, I guess, so. Um, maybe we'll just leave them at the door and kids can eat them on Halloween because it's coming up. <laughs> so we've got a whole bag out there. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I'm going to eat too many of these. But, yeah, well, let's hurry up and get to Apple back at 
Town Square um, and then head over to Best Buy. I feel like you guys have been here nearly as much as we have since um, we moved to Vegas because we're here every day um, even though it's a bit of a drive away from us. There's an Apple store that's where we gotta go just figuring out where to park um, they charge you to park on this little bit of street here which makes no sense because there's free parking just on the other side so I guess we can just park in Whole Foods where you said um, and it's concentrating some woman nearly hit us just then because she wasn't paying attention so now Dan is paying extra attention to everything speed bump I know he's paying extra attention unless there's a camera in front of him and those people nearly hit us again okay. I think I have a stop sign there was a stop sign there um, I don't know what to get for dinner tonight. What should we eat tonight? I haven't decided yet. Mm, isn't that beef thing? That I made? What? I made spaghetti bolognese last night. And it was so good. But Dan had dinner with his brother. So he hasn't tried it yet. I ate it and enjoyed it. You gonna get these to someone? No. Hey, look what we park next to. Put it in one of the so we are dark sign again. Recognize that? <laughs> Dan wants me to leave the candy corn for a card. I don't know if anyone's gonna want to eat that. Uh, people love that stuff. They do. Yeah, that's why they sell it. Free gift. So we picked up the gimbal, we got it, where is it, and we ended up going in that little crystal shop next to us, it was called Sticks and Stones, Break My Bones, <laughs> and words always hurt me, um, I can't bother to get it out, but I got a little thing for my office, and Dan got a little gift as well. I got a mushroom crystal. That's what it was called, crystal shop. I'm trying to think of the word. Yeah, a stone shop. Yep. <laughs> um, so I'll set my little thing up and show you guys when we get home. And we are headed towards Best Buy and Target now to go and get some stuff to hang up a picture and a TV and some AAA batteries. Um, if we make it there in one piece, everyone's driving crazy again. Could you imagine if I said that and turned the camera around and then someone had an accident right in front of us? That would have been crazy. <laughs> Wild. Um, one thing that is cool about here is the flight path. You see all the planes lined up trying to come in to the airport. So uh, right now you can see like three with their like headlights on, I guess. Uh, it looks like UFOs glimmering in the sky, but it's not. It's just airplanes and people coming for their vacation. Um, I play Hearthstone when we're in the car, not doing much as well. So that's my little vice. Does anyone on here play Hearthstone? Dan doesn't. He doesn't get it. But I don't play games. I even downloaded a few games last night. Just like I enjoy downloading them. That's about <laughs> it. Once I turn them on, I'm like. Sam watches them on YouTube for hours though. He likes watching other people play games, not actually playing the games, which is yeah. weird. <laughs> <laughs> so we are five minutes away, so yeah. The reason is it's the energy you have to put into learning them. I wanted to use my energy on other things like growing our business or working. There you go. But I can just turn on a YouTube video for 30, 40 minutes and I don't have to learn anything. Dan wasn't paying attention to the road then and had to slam the brakes on a bit. <laughs> <laughs> no, enough. All right, we're going in Target. So, we went to Target, we got our batteries, and we got, what did we get? What's the other thing we got? Things to hang up pictures. Oh yeah, to hang up the photos. And then, 
we ended up popping to Barnes and Noble because it was right next to it so Dan could buy a new little journal because he journals a fair bit and then I managed to find a photography book um, that's like for street photography and it gives you like little challenges to go um, to go along with so now it's going to encourage me to go and do street photography stuff because no, I'm nervous to do street photography stuff for some reason. But now I have little challenges and I like a little challenge to do these things. So now we're going to go pick up the TV because we didn't want to leave it in the car because you never know and being in Hawaii the last two years and vehicle theft being such a thing, we did not want to risk that. So TV is the last stop and then we're going to head home and I'll show you what I got for my office too when we get home. It's night time now. The sky looks purple. It's so cool. I want to recreate that purpley sky. Whoa, it's so bright. We're back at Sunset Station where it has the crazy big letters. Here they are. <laughs> I feel like a bigger than me. It's so big. Dan took us to the wrong Best Buy. Oops. He didn't check which one it was at and just presumed that it was at this one. And now we have to wait till tomorrow because they closed at 7 and it's 7.30 now. So time to go home and eat. Alright, we have made it home. Um, we just had dinner. We had the leftover spaghetti bolognese that I made yesterday. And I am about to set up my new little gadget so i'm gonna put you down for a minute looks like a mirror the window that looks cool um i'm gonna put you down for a minute set this up and then i'll show you what it is mm -hmm. so i got a little room vaporizer thing it's cute um and i am using a scent, Nag Champa. Um, it's strong. I think I put too much in. <coughs> it's, uh, I put one pipette in. I don't know if I'm gonna just put like a couple of drops. You need more water. But I put one pipette in. But yeah, it's doing its thing. It's pumping some moisture into the air that smells good. Smells mm. good. I like it. Tavaka's wondering what that smell is. What's that smell? Hmm? Stretch. And that concludes another day. Night guys.